Hey, what's up, everybody? I've been getting questions since earlier this year about something new, and I've got it. Something you've been asking me for, and that is Photoshop on Android, and I've got it right here in my hand. Want to see it? The team has been hard at work on the Android version, and it's here. You can now download the public beta, which is widely available. So the home screen is where we get started. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in an image to create my retro astronaut scene. And first image I'll bring in is just one from Adobe Stock. It's a starry nebula. And I'll just go ahead and pop that in. And the next thing I wanna do is see that I can add images from other places. So I can get them from stock directly. I can add them from my gallery. So here's one of a stock photo plane, a prop plane. And unfortunately, I don't like the sky that's there. I want to use my nebula sky. So using the amazing tap select, uh, once I get the image in place, I'll pull it down a little bit. And I can then begin the process by selecting via multiple different ways. So the first way that I'm going to choose is just to simply tap right on a plane, and that will select a plane. But unfortunately, when it selects the plane, it doesn't get the wings. It doesn't see that the wings are part of it. No problem. Uh, you're automatically an add select. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to the object selection tool. Just like on desktop, I'll just drag across. It'll figure out I want the wings too. And now everything's selected. Then a one tap apply mask. And that will go ahead and mask out that uh, gray background without destroying it or without removing it completely. I can always bring it back if I need it. Now that I got that in place, we'll go ahead and add another layer. This time we'll grab a layer from the gallery. This is one of my own photos I shot in studio of an astronaut um, sitting on a table. But in this case, we want to make her sit on the actual plane. So I'll scale her down a little bit and I'll put her in place. And the same thing, I need to select her and then mask out the background. Well, that's pretty easy because I can just simply use the uh, select subject. So I can tap select subject and it will go ahead and select her. Once she's selected, again, one tap, apply mask, and the background's now gone. And that's great, but I kind of want to make it more uniform by making it retro and making the whole thing black and white. So I'll just simply add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, drag the saturation all the way down, and there's my finished composite. So like magic, right in the palm of my hand, I work just like I would in Photoshop on the desktop. Go ahead and check out the public beta available today for Android users. And of course, if you're on iPhone, you can grab it from the App Store as well. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching.